I'm John Champion, I'm providing match analysis throughout the game, Jim Beglin. Thanks John, hello everyone. What an atmosphere we've got in this stadium today, it's all very, very exciting. So, let's get down to business. Vermaelen. Rakitic. Iniesta. He's looking to find his front men. Off he goes. 
caught on the edge there, or was it in the box? It's been deemed to be just outside the area. And there's the first booking of the game already. Look, they've only got themselves to blame for, for having to resort to that. It was a combination of, of poor concentration and communication that created the problem, and that was the only action they could take. Vermaelen. Sergio Busquets. Messi. And here he comes. Tried to play it through. Iniesta. That could have been really special. Yeah, and that was all about the through ball. Great. You could see what he was trying to do, wrapping his instep around it, trying to get the curl, just not quite enough. Quarter of an hour gone in the first half. No side able to force a breakthrough yet. Dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Inigo Lopez. Abel. Abel, Gilas, Sergio Busquets, the ball is with Messi, he was well positioned, good defending there, no goals from either team as yet, Got them out of trouble. Rakitic. Iniesta. Surely he's in. And the defence gets it away. And there's the end to the first 45. Neither side conceding a goal then. It is nil nil. So the second half gets underway. Rakitic. Here's Messi. Here's Rakitic. Still waiting for something significant to happen here. Nil nil. Abel. Tight old game, this. Chances at a premium thus far. Iniesta. The ball is with Messi. And he's made sure that's not getting through. The opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. Barcelona yet to make a substitution here. Abel. It's Messi. The ball over the top. They have it again. Can he now find a finish? Puts it away. He'd love. 
love to play against defenders as charitable as that every week. Look, I don't want to take anything away from the finish because he ghosted his way into position, but where was the communication in that defence? Who was taking charge? Nobody. Barcelona sitting pretty with this one goal lead. Oh, this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart and spirit. It's there to win from here or, dare I say, throw it away now. Abel. We're down to seconds now. That's all that remains. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. So that's it. It's all over. By the narrowest of margins, they have come through this test. And that owed a lot to the defence, who were absolutely brilliant. It's John Champion here at the microphone, and alongside me we have a top football analyst in Jim Beglin. Well, what a wonderful setting we've got for this game, John. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Hugo Mayo. Fair to say, I think a cautious start from both teams. Rakitic. Here's Messi. They were so nearly punished for their mistake. Neymar is the player to take it. Pique. Really good try, but no goal. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. That would encourage another try, though. Well intercepted. Saw the danger and got to it. No change in that score. Nil-nil, it remains. And the play it goes for throw. Both players standing toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Nolito. An important interception. Things were starting to look dangerous. Luis Suarez with the foul. Then 
anyone has only just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed any goals here. A goal for Barcelona! It was all down to the control. So we resume at 1 0. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. An interception. Borja Ubinha. Messi. He so nearly exploited that mistake. Good challenge, and he's got it back. Mascherano. Piquet. Sergio Busquets. A minimum of two minutes to be played for stoppages. Nolito. Messi. Going forward. Iniesta. And they get it away. There goes the whistle, and it's half-time. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back, too. They work tirelessly for me. Just one goal, the difference between them. Barcelona get the second half going. Iniesta. Doesn't manage to get that one through. Fabian Oriana. Hugo Mayo. Good ball, right down the middle. Messi. Showed a great desire to get to the ball. He just couldn't do much with it. Sergio Busquets. Can he put it away? Messi. Borja Ubinha. Messi, surely a goal. And he makes absolutely no mistake. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. Yeah, and anything that's hit low with real pace like that makes it so much harder for the keeper, and he was never going to get to that. So, it's now two without reply. Well, that goal makes such a difference to the whole dynamic of this game. That second goal puts him in control now. Iniesta. Long ball forward. Nolito. Borja Ubinha has struggled to impose himself on this game, it has to be said. Well, he appears to be singled out here as the enemy number one, and, and he's the one that they're looking to get to first. And I think they think if they get to him, then they're probably going to stop the main threat. So I think um, they've got to come up with a, a fresh idea to, to combat that. Hugo Mayo. No, the defence alert and picked out the danger. Rakitic. Daniel Alves. Rakitic, Iniesta, Nolito, Borja Ubinha, 
Daniel Alves is there defending. Borja Ubinha. The ball is with Messi. Full time whistle within sight. Mathieu. Iniesta. Messi. So there it is, and that concludes today's contest. An exhilarating performance by them today. Their manager will be more than happy as they emerge as such worthy winners. I'm John Champion, and providing analysis alongside me is our expert, Jim Beglin. Hi, John. At this stage, I think the players are just desperate to get out there, and this promises to be a terrific game. So, away we go. It's Messi. Juan Carlos. Itura. Rakitic. Yes, that's a foul. Sergio Busquets. A cagey start, no real chances to speak of. He was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Barcelona yet to have a shot on target. Xavi! A goal for Barcelona! They grab the opener. Really was quite remarkable. You know, it's the modern ball that makes such a difference to shots like that. If you connect well, it will swerve and dip all over the place. It's just so hard to predict.
So we resume at 1-0. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. It's caught there. It'll be a foul. No surprise, it's a yellow card. He's won that physical contest, and with it, the ball. Spooned forward. Rakitic. He's going on his own. Neymar. Strikes it. That would have been some goal. Oh, that's just lovely skill. He's certainly a player who can single-handedly make a difference. Great talent. I think they're building the play really nicely. If they can just find the right through ball, they could be in on goal. Luis Suarez. Xavi, who a few moments ago made his mark on this game. Juan Carlos. Piti. Ricky. And with that, the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Tight old game, this. 1-0 the scoreline. Possibility here. That is way off. What a lovely first touch, and that allowed him the space to get the shot away. It's excellent technique. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now. This is gung-ho, and only a goal will do for them. It's shabby. Messi. He's bursting forward. Half the way. And he's... Here comes the corner. Ricky El Arabi. And we've reached the hour mark. Neymar. Over to the right. Barcelona still not utilising their bench. Oh, what a goal! It's an absolute wonder goal. And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. And it was such a beautiful lob, deserved to find the net. The keeper was well beaten with that. So we resume with the scores back level. Well, this is real tit for tat stuff. It's difficult to see which one has the drive and determination to come out on top now. Oh, fine through ball down the middle. And it's a really well taken goal. When you can produce a first touch. They've got a precious one-goal lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Oh, 
Barcelona running out of both time and options. Look, they can still hope for one more chance. Maybe two if they're lucky. PK. Iniesta. Itura. No, the defence alert and picked out the danger. No, beaten to it. Full time whistle within sight. We're into stoppage time, but there is still time. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. What can Granada do here? Luis Suarez. It's Messi. Messi, a chance. So that's it. It's all over. Barcelona have been left with a mountain to climb. No option now other than winning away from home. A warm welcome to all of you, John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty today. Yeah, thanks, John. Well, we have great expectation here today for both sets of players. I mean, this match really promises something good. Fran Rico, Itura, Daniel Larson. The space on the flank, onside. Well, the referee has decided that the advantage didn't accrue and he's going to his pocket to show him a yellow card. Slides it through. Played in accurately. Fran Rico. He shoots there. Oh, off the post. So unlucky. He hits it. Off target. He knows very well he can score from that distance. Not quite this time. Oh, this has been such a positive approach from them in the early part of this game. Everybody is programmed to get forward, and despite a couple of failed attempts, they are the better side. looking to find his front men Barcelona yet to have a shot on target not afraid to get physical Jordi Alba Neymar Iniesta Rakitic Fran Rico. No, the defence alert and picked out the danger. Iniesta, that is wayward. The defence was made to look vulnerable there. They simply had no answer for that trickery. Mm. 
Mathieu picks the ball up straight from a goal kick. If anyone has only just joined us, you'll be glad to know that you haven't missed any goals here. Neymar! Javi Marquez. It's Neymar. It's the ball. No luck again, just like last time. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can't convert a string of very decent opportunities. Juan Carlos. El Arabi. Into space, out wide. It's on for him. Juan Carlos is awarded a free kick for that foul. And the goalkeeper well placed to take the cross. Mathieu. Jordi Alba. Plays it long. Messi. The referee blows his whistle to signal half-time. Well, they're running out of time to get themselves back into the time. They have 45 minutes of football to show they deserve to go through now. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. Javi Marquez. Itura. Fran Rico. The space on the flank. It's Neymar. Here's Messi. Surely he could put it away. Was certainly struck well enough and he did so well to keep that down that would have made life very difficult for the keeper poor distribution from the keeper that's a gift Ricky Rakitic Barcelona yet to make a substitution here Fran Rico. Juan Carlos. He's being hassled and harried here. Showing some good skills, but ultimately unsuccessful. Javi Marquez. Juan Carlos. Restarts with a throw in. Something going on down at the bench. I think it's going to be a substitution. Well, if the deadlock is about to be broken, then it may well have to come from the bench. I mean, fresh legs when others are beginning to tire now could just do the trick. This game might just get a little stretched if it help. Barcelona running out of both time and options. They've just got to get the ball into the box and hope. his way towards the penalty area and that's going to go a long way and again couldn't make it Neymar he takes the opportunity to shoot he scored no doubt about that one a finish out of the top draw well, once upon a time I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days and we've just seen it again. So the stage is set for a real grandstand finish. Full time whistle within sight. We're into stoppage time, but there is still time. Iniesta. There's the whistle. The game's finished.
Barcelona may have won today, but it's no more than a hollow victory as they lose on aggregate. Look, that's what supporters love to see. Tremendous will and spirit, crunching tackles and a real desire to attack. Nobody could feel let down by that. Here we have Barcelona against Villarreal. I'm John Champion, and analysing this game for us is Jim Beckley. Hi, John. I can tell you, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Rakitic. Iniesta. Incisive pass, that. The keeper knew he had to get to that. Uche. Mario, Uche, Jonathan Dos Santos, and the return ball towards the centre. Neither side being particularly adventurous in these early stages. Giovanni Dos Santos, Rakitic, he was well positioned, good defending there. Barcelona yet to have a shot on target. Jokic moving forwards. This goes for a throw in. Iniesta. Jordi Alba. Ball forward. Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Bruno. Forward it goes. Messi. Neymar. Surely a goal. A goal for Barcelona. They grab the opener. How about that? Barcelona in a comfortable position, leading by a single goal. Well, that's put him in the driving seat, but there's a lot of football left in this one yet, believe me. Jokic. Sergio Busquets. Iniesta stops him in his tracks. Mario. Cani. Mario. The challenge robust but fair. Good through ball. Neymar onside. He scores. Two goals to the good and they're set fair. 
look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. It's 2 0. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1 0 can be. The referee blows his whistle to draw the first half to a close. It's a lead, but not a decisive one. 2 0 the score. So the second half kicks off. The ball's with Giovanni dos Santos. Bruno. It's Messi. Pedro. Here's a shot. Oh, yet another goal. They lead by three, and that may just about be that. What are your thoughts on the goal, Jim Beglin? I think when you can see the goal like that, the manager has to start questioning his personnel because to allow someone into that position, totally unmarked, I think that's reckless in the extreme, I really do. So it's 3 0 now. Isacchio. Uche. Mario. Uche. Jordi Alba. 15 minutes into the second half. Barcelona yet to make a substitution here. Rakitic played in accurately. Jonathan dos Santos. Musacchio. Here's Uche. Both sides fiercely contesting the ball. Play surges forward. That is off target. Well, the defender was stuck to him like glue, but he got his effort away. It wasn't quite enough, though. Jordi Alba, Iniesta, Sergio Busquets, the ball's with Iniesta, surely, Messi, oh that should have been there for, well, they put plenty of effort into corners in training, now it's a match situation, here's a header, Really should have done better from that. He wasn't far from finding the net again. He's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation, it's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. Mario. Pina. Jokic. Pedro with the foul. Counting down. An important interception. Things were starting to look dangerous. Down the middle it goes. The shot. Four extra minutes being shown on the board. On his own. 
Here's Neymar. Going forward with purpose. Chance. Neymar has teed up this corner. He's looking to find his front men. So there it is, and that concludes today's contest. Well, today the team certainly showed the opposition what they're made of. They ran out comfortable winners in the end. You know, it's a privilege to be part of a fabulous football match like that. That was a real roller coaster. Barcelona against Malaga. It's John Champion here at the microphone, and alongside me we have a top football analyst in Jim Begley. Well, thanks, John. Hello, everyone. Well, I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. This could be a real cracker. We're now underway. Oh, fine through ball down the middle. The shot was on, but he's blocked his lines. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Malaga have a free kick for that. And there's the first booking of the game already. Iniesta. Takes a shot. Can he get there? Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. A couple of chances in these early exchanges. Hopefully an exciting game in prospect here. Sergio Busquets. Malaga have possession again. Still goalless here at the moment. Defending in numbers here. Sergio Busquets. It's Neymar. The ball is with Messi. Luis Suarez, a goal for Barcelona. They grab the opener. When you can produce a first touch that is as good as that, you're on a winner. And it was all done with consummate ease. That's just lovely to watch. A beautiful flow.
they get us underway at 1-0 yeah, there's such a consistency about his movement and his work rate that it's the platform for everything else he does, for all his attacking instincts, and he's just a very tidy goal scorer. Sergio Sanchez. Recio. Iniesta. Sergio Busquets. It's played into space. Roberto Rosales, Sergio Sanchez, thumps it long, Camacho, Recio, Roberto Rosales, Jordi Alba, the half-time whistle goes. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game, the players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement on the ball, the passes are sticking, no one's afraid to have a go. Just one goal, the difference between them. Here's Messi. Surely he can't miss from here. And that's a really instinctive stop too. Great reflexes to make it happen. I thought he showed class there. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now. This is gung-ho and only a goal will do for them. Camacho. Mathieu with the foul, Portillo, Iniesta is there defending, here's Neymar, it's Messi, he's onside, Messi, but to call that wayward would be being kind. He did so well to exploit the space down the middle there, that gave him a clean run through on the opposition goal. Barcelona yet to make a substitution here. Camacho, Sergio Sanchez, Camacho, Messi. He so nearly exploited that mistake. Oh, he did really well to force the mistake by pressuring him like that. That's great grip for you. We all know what he can do. Yeah, he's definitely a player who looks like he can make something happen every time he's on the ball. He's just full of belief and energy. In he goes, and that's a good tackle. We're into the final quarter of an hour. Camacho, Iniesta stops him in his tracks, Camacho, Duda, Santa Cruz, full time whistle within sight, Barcelona only have to run down the clock now. Sergi Roberto. The opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. There is the final whistle. This could be put down as a victory for a set of defenders who all kept their focus for the full 90 minutes. Look, it's a very fine win, but for me... The...
I'm John Champion, and today's co-commentator is Jim Begley. Hi, John. I'm really glad to be here. Let's hope these teams serve up a real cracker. Off we go, then. Alejandro Pozuelo. Here's Messi. And now Messi. Neymar. Oh, that's a neat escape. He decides to shoot. And they escape imminent danger. Kakuta. Incisive pass, that. Within range. Bravo does all that's asked of him there. Going forward. The ball is with Messi. Neymar is caught offside. Slides it through. Cuts it out. Still, I'm afraid, goalless. The danger was there, he dealt with it well. Emiliano Insua. Tresores. Amaya. Tries to slide it past the defence. Tito. Tresores. quite get it through that. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. He's a, he's a bit over-ambitious, but I like his thinking. Heading towards half-time, and it's still scoreless. Pass cut out. Rakitic. Iniesta. Intercepts the pass. They've got it away. Tresoras. A stern challenge coming in. Las Bangura. The whistle goes, and it's the end of the first half. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. The side conceding a goal then it is nil nil Baena Tresoras it's cleared away from danger oh he's lost out there oh lovely feet I think it was a little difficult for him to pick exactly the right option there. There were so many in the box. I don't think we should be totally surprised that he actually went for the shot in the end. Both sides continuing to cancel each other out. I think it's fair to say that defences have been on top so far in this fixture. Will delight the coaches, if not all of the spectators. PK. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Barcelona yet to make a substitution here. Emiliano Insua. 
Amaya. Tresoras. Baena. Emiliano in Sua. Something going on down at the bench. I think it's going to be a substitution. Well, if the deadlock is about to be broken, then it may well have to come from the bench. I mean, fresh legs when others are beginning to tire now could just do the trick. This game might just get a little stretched. It could help. Knocks it through. Neat ball through the middle. Sergio Busquets. Neymar. Well played, that got them out of trouble. Messi tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Las Bangura has the ball in a wide position. Goal kick, I think. Oh, I stand corrected. Sergio Busquets. Well, if he wants to do something, he'll have to do it alone. So, there you have it, the final whistle. Well, it's ended as a very disappointing day for the strikers on both sides. None of them able to find a way past the defence at all. I'm John Champion, and covering this game alongside me, someone who certainly knows a thing or two about playing at the top level, it's Jim Begley. Hi John, it's been a great buzz here since I sat in my seat. I think this promises something special today. Hemed. Iniesta. Jordi Alba, Sergio Busquets, Rakitic, Sergio Busquets trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Barcelona seeing a lot of the ball in these early stages. Question is, can they do anything significant with it? it long pass cut out Barcelona yet to have a shot on target the keeper's got it Jordi Alba Iniesta Rakitic Chance to counter-attack here. And that's gone straight to the keeper. Still waiting for that first goal. Messi. Both sides fiercely contesting the ball. And they get it away. A chance. He's tackled in the box. Has to be a penalty. The players clearly disagree, but they're getting little by way of sympathy. The 
packed crowd behind the goal trying their best to put him off. The noise is deafening. He buries it to give his side a precious lead. He made no mistake from the spot. And it only took a little drop of the shoulder to send the keeper completely the wrong way. Didn't he take it well? They get us underway at 1 0. Yeah, there's such a consistency about his movement and his work rate that it's the platform for everything else he does, for all his attacking instincts, and he's just a very tidy goal scorer. They've scored on the brink of half time to make it 1 0. He plays it through. Ball goes through. Hemet is well found. The referee blows his whistle to signal half time. Just the one goal separates them then. It's 1 0. Here's another one, goes for a header. Great build-up, pity about the outcome. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Iniesta. The ball is with Messi. Forward it goes. And he's made sure that's not getting through. And we've reached the hour mark. Barcelona, not as yet making any changes. Sergio Busquets with a lunge. Sergio Busquets gives away a free kick. Knocks it over the top. Now it's a goal kick. PK. Sergio Busquets. It's Messi. Not the best of challenges, it's a foul. Spooned forward. A stern challenge coming in. Jordi Alba plays it long. He got the man there, that's a free kick. <laughs> Iniesta. Victory is tantalizingly close. They're just waiting for the whistle to come. Clock counting down, knocks it through to the front line, launches a low cross. Oh, that's absolutely marvellous! With so little time remaining, it's all square here. Given the time and space he had, he was never likely to miss. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. We're in the... And that's it, the final whistle.
on as even then between these two sides. Neither team able to come up with the winner. But I don't think the two managers will be too displeased with the result here. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid. I'm John Champion, and analysing this game for us is Jim Beglin. Well, thank you. I think this is a brilliant atmosphere awaiting these players today. I can't wait for this one to start. So, here we go then. Well, you can really feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of the biggest derbies in the world. The intense rivalry between these two huge Spanish clubs makes it one of the very best. Daniel Alves, Luis Suarez, through into space it goes, this goes for a throw-in. It was another throw-in. A rather conservative start to this contest. Barcelona yet to have a shot on target. Benzema. Real pressure from the opposition there. Bale! Bale! And that's a really instinctive stop too. Great reflexes to make it happen. I thought he showed class there. Iniesta. It's Messi. Messi trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Benzema. Pedera. Cristiano Ronaldo. Played into space out wide. You have to admire that control. This goes for a throw-in. Tony Cruz, he's been taken down and it has to be a penalty. Barcelona could see this slip from their grasp now with just one kick of the ball. He buries it to give his side a precious lead. It was never in doubt. Well, that was a big pressure kick and he didn't let his team down. He took that so calmly. Real Madrid have the all-important opener. Yeah, although that first goal is a welcome boost, they can't afford to ease off now. To do that would simply be inviting danger. Oh, what a goal! A moment of pure inspiration. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. A well-placed lob. And when you've got skill like that, goals will always follow. I thought the lob was brilliant. It gave the defence and the keeper no chance. That puts him in contention to be the top goal scorer. There it is. They have a three-goal advantage, and that should be enough. End of 
He was never going to decline an invitation like that. There is the end of the first period. So away we go then for the second half. It's Benzema. Oh, a good interception, just what they needed. Neymar. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. It's Tony Cruz. He makes his way towards the penalty area. Ronaldo! That was some strike, but the keeper matched it with a really good save. Well, there's no messing about with this fella, is there? Just went straight down the middle. If only he could have applied the finish with the same conviction. He takes a shot. Real Madrid with a big chance and a big miss. Messi. Neymar has it, and he's got space. And he's pretty grateful to get that clear. Tony Cruz, who a few moments ago made his mark on this game. Bale. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Benzema. Good hand by the keeper. Marcelo. He'll be disappointed with that. Well, he didn't really get hold of that one. It was a weak effort in the end. Barcelona, not as yet making any changes. Good ball, right down the middle. Off he goes. Oh, that should have been their fourth. Well, the defender was stuck to him like glue, but he got his effort away. It wasn't quite enough, though. Real Madrid with a big chance and a big miss. We're into the final quarter of an hour. Luis Suarez, a robust challenge. And no danger there from that cross. Here's Messi. Jordi Alba. It's Neymar. And the decision is offside. The space on the flank. That looked a foul, and the referee's given it. It's opened up nicely for him. The time whistle within sight. Moving forwards. An important interception. Things were starting to look dangerous. So there you have it. The final whistle. More than anything, that seemed a case of luck deserting them at some crucial moments.
The teams then, Barcelona against Atletico Madrid. I'm John Champion, and today's co-commentator is Jim Beglin. Well, thank you. I think this is a brilliant atmosphere awaiting these players today. I can't wait for this one to start. Messi. It's Jordi Alba. Messi! That was a good dribble and a good chance. Oh, that's just lovely skill. He's certainly a player who can single-handedly make a difference. Great talent. Good goalkeeping there. And now he'll have to think about the corner. Messi has teed up this corner. Serrano, Mascherano, Barcelona, very much the team with the early initiative. Yeah, I think they've started in a, a very positive manner and look hungry for goals, and they'll need to capitalise on such a good spell now before we possibly see a, a reply from the opposition. Space on the flank. No change in that score. Nil-nil it remains. The keeper kicks it a long way. Gabi. It's Mandzukic. Neymar. Rakitic. Neymar, Juan Fran, Gabi, no goals from either team as yet. Gabi, Thiago, João Miranda, Guilherme Siqueira, Coque, Juan Fran. Gabi, Griezmann, incisive pass that, oh it's come through, onside, that is way off. Well the defender was stuck to him like glue but he got his effort away, it wasn't quite enough though. Mathieu. It's Messi. Messi! Ball has been cleared. Ada Turan. Koke. There's the whistle and it's half time. It's nil nil, so nothing to separate them. So off we go then with the second half. Foul and the free kick's been given. Going forward. Oh, fine through ball down the middle. That is great goalkeeping. Well defended. Okay. It's caught there, it'll be a foul. Mandzukic, off he goes. Goalless here, neither side able to get a breakthrough as yet. He makes his way towards the penalty area. Fantastic from Neymar. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score.
They get us underway at 1 0. Yeah, now that the deadlock has been broken, I think the manager has to look at his bench to, to try and initiate some sort of a reply. But has he got a game changer? He has to try something from here. Jordi Alba. It's Neymar. Messi. Rakitic. Iniesta. Here's Messi. He's not taking any risks there. There's plenty of activity down by the touchline. Looks like we're going to get a substitution. Godin with a sliding tackle. Possibility here for a cross. And the goalkeeper well placed to take the cross. Koke. Here is Mansukic. Arda Turan. Rietzman, Koke, in he goes, and that's a good tackle. Luis Suarez. No, that's not going anywhere. We're down to seconds now, that's all that remains. Mandzukic, full-time whistle, within sight, cleared away, he's looking to find his front men, the opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept, and that's it, the final whistle. This could be put down as a victory for a set of defenders who all kept their focus for the full 90 minutes. The teams then Barcelona against Valencia. I'm John Champion, and analysing this game for us is Jim Beglin. Hello, John. Hello, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Luis Suarez. Chance. Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. There's the benefit of pinpoint accuracy. so early in the game. Daniel Alves tries to slide it past the defence. And the keeper has claimed it. It's Iniesta. Sends the ball over the defence. 
defence does its job, they get it away. Negredo. Barcelona scoring in the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Xavi. Luis Suarez. The danger was there, he dealt with it well. Parejo. Xavi. Daniel Alves. Luis Suarez. Surely a goal. Andre Gomez. Piatti. Here's Negredo. Negredo. He makes his way towards the penalty area. Well, that was a really awful one for the goalkeeper to deal with. Forward it goes. Wonderful through ball over the top. It's an opportunity. Fantastic from Neymar. They lead by two. No doubt about that one. A finish out of the top draw. You know, it's the modern ball that makes such a difference to shots like that. If you connect well, it will swerve and dip all over the place. It's just so hard to predict. It's 2 0. Well, at 1 0, this game was very much in the balance, but at 2 0, they ought to be able to defend this lead from here. Negredo. That was a super ball in, but no success. <laughs> oh, such a good ball to get him. And with that, the referee brings the first half to a close. Yeah. They have a cushion of a 2 0 lead. The whistle goes for the second half. Knocks it through. Andre Gomez. He's onside here. That's not getting through. He's going on his own. It's through. Valencia was spared there, and they know it. Barcelona could so easily have made them pay for that. If you lose the ball against a team that can launch a counter-attack so quickly, it spells real trouble. Both sides fiercely contesting the ball. Cleared away from immediate danger. This goes for a throw-in. Piatti is awarded a free kick for that foul. That was always likely to be the outcome. Yellow card. Barcelona could be tempted to make changes with two substitutions still available. And a goal! They lead by three, and that may just about be that. That was a teasing finish.
I just thought he was alert and direct. There was no messing about. He was too quick for the keeper, and that's a fine finish. We resume again, the score is 3-0. Javi Fuego. Parejo. Here's Piatti. He'll do well to retain the ball. Here's Neymar. The keeper's got it. Parejo. Quarter of an hour remaining. Lucas Orban. Valencia may think they're going about this in the right way, but not if a series of passes is leading to no end product. They have to add the incision. Piatti. Trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. There's plenty of activity down by the touchline. Looks like we're going to get a substitution. Too casual with the throw, his teammates won't be happy. Luis Suarez, who's just scored a fine goal. Play surges forward. Luis Suarez has been quite impressive in the way he's taken on opposition players. And that's what you call going solo. He may have taken the selfish route to goal, but it wasn't a bad run. And it might just spark a, a teammate to come up with something extra now. So that's it. It's all over. You could see their determination from the very start. A fabulous performance and one that will certainly delight the supporters. And here we have Sevilla against Barcelona. It's John Champion with you today, and alongside me, top analyst Jim Beglin. Yeah, thanks, John. What a brilliant atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. I mean, both sets of players must be really looking forward to this, as we are. Banega. Went over the goal line, so goal kick here. PK. Iniesta. He goes alone. Carlos Baca trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Barcelona still to register a shot on target. Carlos Baca through into space it goes. 
dives it in. He misses, only narrowly though. But when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Jordi Alba. Neymar. Xavi. Carlos Baca. On his own. Ball threaded through. Pass cut out. The goal now would certainly liven things up. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. Five minutes to play in the first half. Luis Suarez. Surely he's in. Big moment, big goal. Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half time. And it can make such an impact on each mindset. When you can produce a first touch that is as good as that, you're on a winner. And it was all done with consummate ease. That's just lovely to watch. A beautiful flow. So we resume at 1-0. Yeah, there's such a consistency about his movement and his work rate that it's the platform for everything else he does, for all his attacking instincts, and he's just... And there is half-time. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. It's 1-0, and we hope for more of the same in the second half. It's shabby. Can he find a finish? Puts it away. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. That really was quite remarkable. Well, once upon a time, I was harsh on goalkeepers, but now I'm more sympathetic because the ball moves all over the place these days, and we've just seen it again. So, it's now two without reply. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. Caricho. Semolinas. Caricho. Banega. Carlos Baca. Barcelona have got possession back. Whistle's gone for a foul. Well struck. He'll be disappointed with that. Barcelona, yet to make a substitution here. Heads it. Barcelona with a big chance and a big miss. Luis Suarez has had offside given against him. this second half Xavi Iniesta and he 
has fouled him. It's Daniel Alves. Gamero. Carlos Backer. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. It's been played long. Here's Luis Suarez. Iniesta. Lovely ball through. Good clearance there. Little in the way of subtlety in that tackle. Surely he can put it away. And a shot here. Oh, a decent effort. You'd really expect a player of his quality to score there. So, there you have it, the final whistle. A well-deserved win for them here as they went out fully focused and put everything into the contest, and they've come away with the win that they wanted. It's John Champion and Jim Beglin on commentary duty, and a warm welcome to you all. Thanks, John. Hello, everyone. I mean, what an atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. It's all very, very exciting. Away we go, then. Sergio Busquets. Luis Suarez. And that's gone straight to the keeper. Fair to say, I think a cautious start from both teams. Looking to carve open the defence. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. They need to be a bit more careful with their passing in this position. It's played into space. Luis Suarez. Showing some good skills, but ultimately unsuccessful. Barcelona, so far, providing no real test for the opposition goalkeeper. Mascherano. Iniesta. Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez is fouled. A yellow card. And of course, for argument there. I can understand the frustration from the foul then. They manufactured a good little opportunity there, so it was unfairly stopped. He can have a go from here. Messi, 
lovely bit of skill. It's Jordi Alba. So who is going to spark this game into life? Intercepts the pass. Iniesta. Luis Suarez. Messi. Oh, that's a neat escape. Can he now find a finish? Jao Pedro. The whistle goes to signal the midway point of this game. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. So, it's nil-nil. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. And now, bursting forward. And he's pretty grateful to get that clear. But this game is all about goals, and that was a shot shy as it comes. Real pressure from the opposition there. Just the keeper to beat. He's onside. That will be a goal kick. Well underway in the second half, and it's still goalless. I think it's fair to say that defences have been on top so far in this fixture. It will delight the coaches, if not all of the spectators. João Pedro. Barcelona yet to make a substitution here. Luis Suarez. Iniesta, a foul, a fairly easy decision for the referee. That's his second portion of the match, and he's off. Listen, this guy has got fantastic acceleration, that's blistering pace, and he's going to be on the end of a tackle or two like that. It's Messi. Messi, quick as a flash. Fantastic from Messi. Oh, my. All goals are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. I'm afraid that one's down to the goalkeeper. Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way.